The Nikon D7200 makes the 2-year-old D7100 look like a terrific deal. With only minor improvements over its predecessor, the D7200 remains a great camera, but given the D7100's lower price, the D7200 is a tough sell unless you're a night owl or long burst shooter. Once the D7100 evaporates from the market, or the price stops dropping and starts rising, then the D7200 will seem more compelling. It's the same pattern the D7100 faced over the D7000 before it. The D7200 body costs about $1,100, £725, a dollar sign $1,450, compared to only about $800, £850, a dollar sign $1,500, for the D7100. What are the differences? Some improvements in buffering for burst shooting and improved image quality of of ISO 1600, plus two black and white high ISO modes, and time-lapse movie creation. The camera also gains wireless connectivity, but Nikon's app is one of the least capable I've seen, and as of this writing, hasn't been updated since April 2015. And while auto ISO support and a flat color profile are welcome for movies, shooting video with the camera can be a trying experience. The D7200's photo quality is excellent for the money, and both JPEG and RAW files looks a bit better than the D7100 starting at about ISO 1600, thanks to slightly finer grain noise. Otherwise, they're pretty similar, JPEGs display nice color rendering and exposures, plus good tonal range in the shadows but a little more clipping in the highlights than I expect. With the default noise reduction settings, detail starts to get quite mushy in JPEGs with ISO sensitivities beyond ISO 1600, and you see quite a bit of color noise at ISO 6400 and beyond.